Welcome to FlightriskRadio.com. We got my lady, Lady Music, in the building, and we have a special guest. What's up? What's up, y'all? What's up? Thanks for having me. And who the fuck are you? <laughs> um, well, my name is EP for beginners. What's that stand for? Those are my initials. And? And we will leave it at that for the time. <laughs> okay, I can rock with that. Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm just... Uh, I'm, 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 I don't want to call myself the typical artist, but for the time being, you know, I'm just the typical artist out here trying to make his name known in the industry, but just um, with a more hip-hop oriented sound. And when you say out here, where are you from? I'm from Detroit. And you mm. live in Tampa? You stay out there? What no, you I live in Tampa right now. The big oh. D. <laughs> yeah, so how long have you been out here? You like it? I've been out here nine years. Um, yeah, I like it. I mean, it's... it's it likes me, you know what I mean? So, so, how's the music industry average. doing for you here, though? Because we have a lot of artists that feel different. <clears throat> I mean, well, that's a, that's a double-edged question, you know what I mean? I don't know Look at me how you speak. Look double-edged answer. Basically, what I'm saying specify? is, if, if you're speaking in regards to the industry or lack thereof... Um, Second question. How do I feel about it? And why are you still here after nine years? I mean, well, I'm still here because I have pretty much like my whole team here, you know what I mean? I got my DJ here, I got the other artists that I work with here, I got a nice following out here as far as the name and the brand that we're behind. So, I mean, it just doesn't make sense to leave home just yet when you've made this place your second home, you know what I mean? I wanna, and I wanna, you've built your team too. Yeah, you built your team. So little I wanna, empire. <laughs> wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I'm not gonna do no, no LeBron shit, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna take my team, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The and team that I'm with, you know what I'm saying? That we, we're gonna go to these to these rings. We're gonna go get these championships, man. That's what it's yeah. about. So where's the first championship? Where are we going? Are we in the playoffs <laughs> right now? Where are we at? I mean, right now, I mean, it's pretty much the regular season. I mean, the first quarter just kicked off. You got, like, the heavy hitters in the industry are shifting. So you have, like, the people that are independent kind of watching to see how this whole shit is going to play out right now for the indie artists. I mean, in my personal view, I feel like it's shifting back towards the independent side where you're going to have people saying, fuck the majors, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Fuck distribution, you know what I mean? Let's figure out how we can do this shit ourselves. You know I feel I mean? like we're in a rock and roll era of hip-hop. Well, I feel like rock and roll was the... Rock and roll was the U.S.'s hip-hop before yes. hip-hop became hip-hop, you know what I mean? But it, it was also because they didn't stand for any other genre that was already created, so they created their own, and they fucking built off that shit, and they rocked with but it. See that's, the, that's, see, that's where we differ on that, though, because I feel like hip-hop was rooted in something that's totally different than what this game is about, you know what I mean? Like, this is more so entertainment now. Like, it's not yeah. so much about hip-hop or <coughs> rap or the artists themselves, you know what I'm saying? I turn on the radio and I don't know who I'm listening to because all the shit sounds the same, you know what I mean? I don't like that shit. So what differentiate, differentiate you, I'm sorry, between you and other artists, especially um, out here in the local scene? Because a I lot of these to, artists sound those like. I, I tend to stick more towards my roots, you know what I mean? Like whatever influenced me or the people that influenced me, that's what you hear in my music. So I'm not going to sound like Young Thug or Rich Homie, no pun intended, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not influenced by them, you know what I mean? So mm. my music's not going to sound nothing like that. You know, so I, who were you influenced by, especially as a child? And well, speaking of more importantly now, because I find it really hard to find anybody recently who does influence me. I have to go back to right. the old school to like, really feel something. Like yeah, for like, sure. Give me, give me, let me, let me bounce you something want, um, you. Which genre? Give me do you your want? top three rappers. You know what I mean? Well, well, how old are you first? That I don't think that should be relevant. Okay. Well, I'm 27. <laughs> really are you within my age bracket? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> what top three artists? Um, okay, well, I think relevantly and back in the past, but as far as relevant artists within my age range, I would say Jeezy, O Wayne, and I would say probably O Boosie. Because I fuck wow. with Boosie. But I'm a Southern girl, though, that's okay, why. So okay. give me number three okay. for credit. Um, my three would be Jay, um, Pac, and probably. But I said recently. I mean, recently, Jay. Okay, he Jada can Kiss, and um, probably not. You know what I mean? Like I don't. Do you fuck with Fab? I mean, I don't have nothing against him personally. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> his, music, his music, his music is decent. You know what I mean? His music is straight, and he he has a cult following. You know what I mean? Like people who fuck with Fab, you can't mm. tell them wrong 
about Fab. You know what I'm saying? And sure. I've never heard a whack verse from Fab, but am I like a fan? You know what I mean? A Fab? Like I'm a fan of what he's done with his name and being hot for 12 plus years. You know what I'm saying? G shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I don't bang his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't listen to Fab on a day. Like, yeah. So what do you? What style do you feel like you fall into? I mean, I feel like I have my own style. I feel like I don't have to be. I mean, at the end of the day, it's about being an artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody asks, War, you know, Andy Warhol, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what type of artist do you feel like you are? You know what I'm saying? Nobody That's went to, answer. you know what I mean, yeah, Picasso and asked him that, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, like, when I get in front of the canvas, however I'm feeling, it's going to come out on that canvas, you know what I mean? How do you perfect your craft? <laughs> I mean, it's a constant, it's a constant thing, like, it's never perfected, you know what I mean? Anybody who feels like they're perfect, is an idiot, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> That's true. You feel like you can't learn anymore, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel like you can't get better, you might as well die like you've done it all, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, so I feel like it's a constant, it's a, it's a, it's a reinvention. Constant thing, you know what I mean? Not, not so much reinvention, but you add to, you know Learning what I mean? Experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. So, okay, based on where you're at right now, what do you think was the best learning experience for you to where you're at right now, career wise? Um, I mean, I dropped a, a tape back in 2012. Mm -hmm. And I did it the wrong way. Like, I didn't have a formula behind it. I didn't really have, like, a plan behind it. Um, like, everybody knows that they want to make it in the industry. Like, you know you want to make it in the industry. Like, the key is figuring out how you can make it in the industry. Like, in really the most feasible way. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people have far-fetched or, like, pipe dreams when it comes to this music shit. But if you have, like, a team with the plan and like the ambition, like you can make some shit happen. And I had the ambition and I had the team, but I didn't have a plan. So now I have the plan. It's like you, you have to have that holy trinity, you know what I mean? And really be able to put it into action. So I feel like that's the biggest thing I've learned. Going back and, and making a plan that's gonna work for you. Mm -hmm. I see. So are you still reinventing that plan or do you feel like you have the perfect formula right now for your success? Got the perfect formula. You got it? <laughs> So how far are we, like, when can we see this perfect formula come and just pop and make a baby? You want to make a baby or you want to? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. But speaking of, do you have children? I do not. Yeah. I do not. No. That's rare. And you're 27 years old with no children. Mm -hmm. How the hell did you get away with that? Right? <laughs> um, condoms? It's kind of no. it's kind of common Everyone though lately. That, it's kind of common. Like I've been meeting a lot of guys in that age right? range that don't know like, they don't the have kids. kids. Even up to 32 game. years old. You're 17 to 25 work on your pull-out game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you don't want kids, you got to have a mean pull-out game. Fuck a pull-up game, wrap that bitch up cuz yeah, there's I mean, a lot up, of things you need. Still pull out. <laughs> yeah. you need to wrap up, you know what I mean? Wrap up and pull up. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, wrap up and pull out. You safe and sorry. That is so true. So speaking of, um, let's go back to your music class. Mm -hmm. uh, what song do you have that you're feeling the most? What's your favorite track that you got working on or have already created? Favorite track? All time favorite too. I mean, believe it or not, like I have like 96 songs in my catalog. So <laughs> to say my favorite I like my favorite record, honestly. Okay, hold on, wait, I want to speak on that though. You don't feel like you should conserve some things and maybe you can alter them later? Or you feel like everything should be pushed out as soon as you create it? What's your kind of technique on that? No, 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 definitely. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta space, space it out, you know what I mean? You can't, like, people overindulge, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the society we're in, you know what I mean? So if you give them... It, it's, it's like it's like pouring all the doggy treats on the ground, you know what I'm saying? Like, your dog is definitely going to eat all the fucking treats, you know what I mean? So people hear your shit and they like your shit, they're going to listen to all your shit that's available, you know what I mean? Yeah. But so, they get full on that and then they sick of that, just like any other food. We were talking about yeah, that earlier, yeah, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah. You eat so yeah. much of something that you don't want it anymore. You hear fab too much, you don't want to hear it no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get it. But it's, it so, so, so my whole thing is like, I'll, I'll drop 13, maybe 14 right on this project mm -hmm. and then whatever else would be like so on your new shit. project what's your favorite track because we need the world to listen mm. i haven't done my intro yet but i have a feeling i, I mean that feels the best to me okay um Run it, get 1992 
Look at classic. Yeah. Uh, you wanna you want us to put a ninety two track on here? That's your favorite track. <laughs> yeah, yeah man. Well, put it on. All right. Oh, no, but listen, if that shit is whack, we're gonna have everybody fucking call in. Tweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whack E P. I mean, they could put it. I mean, they it's ninety two. Right you gotta go back to ninety two. No, I don't even want to give them that because I don't want to put that type. You know what I'm saying? It might be great. It might be awesome. And if it is awesome, I want to respect you so much more because of the mm. fact that it's fucking. From, I was two years old in ninety two. Yeah, well, that's crazy. Girl, you missed a lot of good music. Mm. No, you were four years old. You're twenty seven. No, you didn't make a track in ninety two. You just bullshit me. No, I didn't make the song in ninety two, but I'm glad you felt that compelled to believe it. <laughs> I did not make the record in 92. I did not make the record in 92. Was I misleading? I'm sorry. What? Um, <laughs> the song is so titled gullible. 1992. Okay, there you go. It would be. And it's on your yeah, new. Yes, the Golden Diner that's coming out. So, what possessed you to write a track of 1992 if you were. If I was four years yeah. old? That yes. is an intriguing question. Yes. I asked myself that and self said. Mm hmm. <laughs> Music was better in 1992. Mm -hmm. I remember driving in my mom's Dodge Spirit, listening to like Kumo D, yeah. MC Hammer, Hell yeah. <laughs> like Digital Underground, mm -hmm. and like none of those artists sound the same. You know what I mean? Exactly. So like now, like if you have a four-year-old that's riding around, he's like, I'm gonna remember Young Thug, I remember Rich Homie, <laughs> I remember Lil Wayne, and like they all look alike, sound alike. You know what I'm saying? It's like no variety, it's no class, it's no sound, it's, it's no, it's no substance. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, those artists may drop a few records on there. You know. I'm saying I'm not just sticking to those particular artists you know what I'm saying yeah. I don't want to feel like I'm boxing them you know what I mean but at the end of the day every artist seems to be I don't know almost like a like a like a manufactured object you like, know a what I'm yeah, like a robot or something yeah you know what I mean so yeah so 92 was like I don't know I wanted you to feel like when you heard this like you felt like you know you this kid 92. could be from 1992 he All could right, be so from speaking all right, so that track called of, Quest and that far side. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? 1992, can you mm -hmm. drop an intro for us? Introduce the track. We're going to go out and play it, spin it, love it. Uh, yeah, Flight Risk Radio. This is EP's new record, uh, 1992. That's going to be on the Golden Diner drop in first quarter. Y'all fuck with it. Appreciate you. Yes, I get it. That was great, guys. No.